All right, guys, here we are trying out the Smart ESC that I got on my uh, Sonic Wake. The stock 120 amp ESC only lasted me about three runs. Um, I do have the dual pickup on the rudder as well, but still got burnt up pretty well. I did, I did run it full throttle most of the time. So, I mean, the, the boat's so well planted that I had you know, no choice had to run it full throttle the whole time, you know. <laughs> um, I've adjusted the taps a little bit and uh, messed with the turning fins. Uh, she seems to be rising out of the water a little better now, but still could probably do a little better. She is 8S capable now, but I'm still waiting for the HD flex cable. Still got the stock flex cable and it's already kind of showing a little bit of uh, signs of wear. Um, also, finally got this GNSS performance analyzer, which is freaking amazing. I uh, was really disappointed with my GPS system, but the the difference is it's gigantic. Honestly, I believe the regular GPS does about every three seconds it updates. This does, I think, it's ten times a second. So it should it should make quite a bit of a difference. Uh, I'm gonna just try the 6S 75 five C batteries right now. I got these Turnigy Graphenes, which are pretty good. See what I can get out of those. Then I also got these Rapids 55. See if there's any difference in those. And I also got the Spectrum Smart 500 milliamp or MAH 100C discharge. And I'm gonna compare those and see which which one gives me a better speed. I will have to wait quite a bit in between to let the system cool down and everything. But another big great thing about this smart system is all the telemetry I can get. I'll show you in a second how that works. But yeah, no more guessing. You know, it's pretty awesome to know what temperature your ESC is at all times. You can actually see it spiking up in temperature when you're turning. So it's pretty pretty cool thing and you know taught me a lot about how to handle RC boats I mean honestly at first I didn't know what I was doing so I was almost doing donuts in the water it's probably the reason why I burned that first ESC so quickly but you know now I know better with the telemetry and all that stuff so things should go better now um, like I said she's 8s capable but I'm not really gonna put 8s through her yet till I get a couple more uh, parts in the mail that'll uh, help her uh, take the grunt of the extra two cells. So, got her going. All right. So, hopefully, you guys can see this. Here, I got my battery, my ESC temperature. I don't have a smart motor on here, so I don't have motor temperature, but I do have ESC temperature, and I do also have <coughs> RPMs. And a few other things with the telemetry here, but honestly, the what I'm most concerned about is my temperature and my batteries. 
so I did have her uh, cook up my regular my stocky SC so we're gonna throw it in the water and see how she does okay we'll get the Mavic in the air try to catch some cool angles of the boat Okay, just let her catch some GPS, cause she might run out of battery, I'll be playing with the boat, she might run out of battery while she's sitting up there, so I want her to be able to uh, come back to the home point on her own. Just gotta wait a second, oh my gimbal's stuck with the grass, sorry buddy. The home point has been updated, All right. please check it on the map. You're good, might be cutting a little bit of grass here taking off, but... It's not a huge deal. Alright, there she goes. She's got those stealth props. I don't remember the maker right now, but they do make quite a bit of a difference. It's got a different pitch to it for sure. Why is he dropping like that? Come on. Hopefully we got the gopher going. Yeah, the gopher's going. You're good. Let's put you in the water. Oh, oh. take the fin thingies off. She's going to turn too good with those on. I don't think. Oh, we gotta get that GNSS thing started. Hold on. Rookie. Should be close enough. Track. Start. Oh, start. Track, start. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but we got, we had 100. Now it's back down to 96. My battery is at 24.6. She is going good. Got my water's coming out good, my temperatures are staying good. Looks like a good pass. Do one more coming this way. Woo! Rocking. She is rocking. What do you think about that guys? Look at that rooster tail. Still got tons of battery. My ESC is still at 96. She is moving, guys. She looks so good doing it, too. That was gorgeous. Heck yeah, buddy.
96, still 23 of my temperature. Let's get a readout for the speed. Hopefully you guys can see that. I kind of doubt it, but. Oh, once again, 50 miles, 51 miles an hour on the dot. That's what she does, that's what she likes to do. Oh, we got some upgrades on the way too, and we got the 8S battery that we haven't tried yet. So I'm pretty sure we can uh, get a little closer to maybe 55 miles an hour or something like that. Uh, hoping to maybe hit 60s once I get the prop and everything else I got planned on for it. But it's still a V-Haul, so I'm not trying to get too crazy with it. I just really want it to be a, a nice bash boat that I can take out even even on the river when I'm when I'm better with my boating skills.